If you're a sax player, you're probably obsessed with altissimo. You're either obsessed with it because you can't get it and you want to, or you can already do it and you want to make it better. <laughs> so, after watching a short by Sax Spy and a few other videos uh, by people like Timothy McAllister, I've come to realize that one of the best ways of practicing for your altissimo is by playing overtones on the neck and mouthpiece only. So, what does this mean? It's quite simple. You're first of all just going to play your neck in its regular pitch. And then you're going to try and play the first overtone on your neck. I'll do it on an alto as well, so you can see what it sounds like on alto. Now, once you can get that first overtone, see if you can go for the second overtone. If you can get the second overtone on your neck and mouthpiece, you're definitely looking really good to be able to comfortably play the really high altissimo when you put the whole horn together. This is what it sounds like on tenor. And this is what it sounds like on alto. So that is the fundamental, the first overtone, and even the second overtone. And don't worry, I'm gonna go through the actual stuff that's going on in your voicing to be able to produce these notes in just a second. But I wanted to say I've done a much fuller and more thorough video on Altissimo. I'll put the link in the description. And there's also a great free PDF cheat sheet. Use the link you can see there. Click the link in the description. There's exercises for Altissimo, sixth and ninths, the great short tube exercises, and there's some fingerings and stuff in there as well. So go and check out those great free PDFs using the link that you can see there. Now, let's talk about where you can go from here. It doesn't just stop at the second overtone, you can actually go higher as well. I think that's pretty much my limit. <laughs> um, right, now the big question, the big elephant in the room is, okay, great, but all I'm getting is the fundamental. What have you got to do to create these, um, these, these overtones on the neck? How do you play altissimo is the big question. Well, like I said, you've got to go and check out the full video, but just to quickly recap that, as a generality, and there are kind of, you know, outliers, the tongue is actually, as you get higher and higher, the tongue gets lower and closer to the reed, almost like going underneath the reed. Now, a lot of people will tell you to arch your tongue and make that E sound to get altissimo. And I'm not here to say that anybody's right or wrong, but this is um, what Mark has observed, is that the as you get higher and higher, the tongue gets flatter and flatter and actually gets closer and closer to the tip of the reed. The second thing is that your soft palate, you know, the the, uh, the bit at the back of your, the top back of your mouth, domes up. Like you're saying, hung, oh, like the, the, there's more space at the top of your mouth. Your vocal folds close together to create greater impedance in your vocal tract. And uh, sometimes you'll see people take in a bit more mouthpiece and, and as you get really high, a bit more firm embouchure as well. So you put a bit more mouthpiece in, for the really high ones, you might be using a bit of lip pressure. When I was doing the really high dog whistles, I found myself using more lip pressure, but not for the first couple of overtones. Now, here's the really interesting thing. Um, everybody will say, arch your tongue, make the E shape, and make the airstream faster. Well, as it turns out, uh, these instructions might be useful, 
And if you follow those instructions and you get Altissimo, great, winner, winner, chicken dinner. However, it turns out that the airspeed is generally slower for Altissimo. Um, and anyway, what you do inside your mouth does not change the airspeed at the tip of the reed. And also your tongue gets lower as you go for those real high altissimo notes. And what you need to be thinking about is actually creating more space, a bigger cavern inside your vocal tract. Not creating like a narrower kind of, and people always talk about thumbs on hose pipes and all that stuff, which is cool. But what's actually happening is you're creating more space inside the back of your throat, like a big uh, cavern in there. And combined with some of the other techniques, which is in the main video, uh, that is how you get those real high altissimo notes. It's kind of, the reality tends to be quite different from what people will teach, but sometimes what people teach works. So it's all good. But one more time, let's go back to the overtones. And if you can do this, you're all set to do your um, altissimo on the main horn. I thought I could get one more, but I can't. Now to round this off, let's go back to the horn and we'll play the palm key notes and try and play a sixth above using the same fingering and then a ninth above each of the palm key fingerings. These are called the short tube, low resistance exercises, which are in the PDF. So that's all I've got time for this week. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of extra information about Altissimo and hope you enjoyed my main video. Go and grab your PDF, which you can see there. Click the link in the description. That's going to give you some cool stuff. And if you want something free, then go and check out my free saxophone success masterclass. There's loads of awesome information, which is going to help any saxophonist of any level. It's pretty darn cool. Let me tell you. In the meantime, you can go and check out Mark Watkins' interview inside the Inner Circle, along with a lot of other very cool stuff. I mean, including a full interview with Lenny Pickett. Now, if you want to know about Altissimo, who better to ask than Lenny Pickett? Um, and until next time, um, I really appreciate you watching. If you appreciate the videos I'm making, be sure to subscribe, because a lot of people don't subscribe. It's really going to help my channel. It's really going to help me take my message to more saxophonists across the world and help more people so please do subscribe and uh, hit, you know do the uh, notification bell icon to all then you'll be notified when i've got a new video spoiler it's every sunday at 7 a.m <laughs> but until next time make sure you practice hard practice smart and enjoy your music take it easy guys That was good.